Well, on the watch talk today with the doctor who is treating Landon and who prescribed an unusual diet to help the Hollywood star beat the odds. Thanks, Greg Kindy. Actor Michael Landon has already begun what he promises to be a fierce fight against his deadly cancer. Chemotherapy treatment once a week in hopes of reducing the tumors found in his pancreas as well as found in his liver. That combined with nutritional treatment, eating foods high in fiber and low in fat. Landon, South Jersey doctor, believes that the combination of those two treatments will help extend his life. He was Bonanza's little Joe and Little House on the Prairie's gentle homesteader. Today, in real life, actor Michael Landon is a cancer patient. As one observer puts it, Landon always specialized in happy endings. Now, he needs one himself. It's scary. It scares me. It scares my kids. It scares my wife. Earlier this week, upon the suggestion of former First Lady Nancy Reagan, 54-year-old Landon traveled to Lawrenceville, New Jersey. There he sought help from Dr. Charles Simone, the cancer treatment expert who has treated the likes of former Presidents Ronald Reagan and Hubert Humphrey. How would you describe Michael Landon's mood when he came in to see you? How's he dealing with this? Well, he was anxious about what he might hear, anxious about uh, what might happen to him. It was Dr. Simone who recommended Landon combine chemotherapy with his 10-point nutrition plan, outlined in a book he had written which he says helps prevent cancer. What are the types of things that you prescribe for Michael Landon? The nutrients now have a lot of data. They have been shown now to enhance anti-tumor activity in many, many studies, not only test tube studies, animal studies, but now large human population studies. 40% of all cancer patients die, not of their cancer, but of malnutrition. But not everyone agrees this nutrition plan will help Landon, like Dr. Joseph Zacchino of Beekman Hospital. If the patient wants an opportunity uh, to try to get a real remission uh, that would result in uh, his or her feeling better or hopefully living longer, um, these sorts of things, then only conventional therapy has been shown to do that to any, any degree at all. By the way, we did ask Dr. Simone just how long Landon may have to live. He said he doesn't have a crystal ball, that different people have different lifelines. But when you take a look at the statistics, little hope is offered for long survival. One percent of all patients who have cancer in both their liver and pancreas survive as long as five years. Landon says, we each have our own miracles. I'm still hoping to beat it. And he has such a positive attitude, and Dr. Simone was saying that that's part of kicking that cancer. That's a great deal. Attitude is all yeah. Yeah, you've got to hold on to. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks okay. so much. Thank you.